Alrighty, so now we got ourselves some good weapons here. And uh, we're going to try to break the rest of these Autobots out of their cells here and try to find out where Zeta Prime is at. And as we head into this room here, there's going to be a pretty large encounter in this room where the uh, Decepticons are basically going to surround us and just start flooding guys into the room uh, one door at a time. But initially here we just have a couple of scouts with rockets and uh, we have some sentries on the wall which uh, there's only a couple of them over here and there's a couple more on the other side of the hallway. And I'm being pretty careful in this fight. I'm not really getting too up close to them, although I have this EMP shotgun so I do get a little ballsy at one point here and try to get up close and hit him with that because it is, a, like I've said before, a really powerful weapon. It's one of my favorite weapons in multiplayer. Because people come up and try to melee you and they don't expect that. And just kills them so fast. Like two shots pretty much kills anything in this game. Any uh, character class. Like, uh, so I'm, here I am trying to hit these guys. Of course, they're way too far away. I mean, it, it, like all good shotguns, it's really powerful at short range, but not very good for much else. We're going to have more scouts come out of these doors, and the uh, the walls next to the doors are going to light up whenever they're getting ready to come out of there. So here I go, get up right in their face like that. There's also another thing where, uh, much like the double barrel shotgun in any other game, the double barrel shotgun, the EMP shotgun in this game is, if you miss with it, you're pretty much screwed, because you have to reload every two shots, so... You need both both of those shots to kill whatever you're trying to hit. Unless you hit, it's like a scout or whatever and hit it like point blank range. But when after the uh, guys have all came out of that room back there, there's some good stuff back there. Some health, some ammo, and a pistol. And uh, we're going to remember that pistol for later because we're going to pick it up again here in a little while. We don't really want it right now, uh, even though we're going to be fighting this brute. And normally you don't really want to fight, you really don't want to get too close to brutes, but this EMP shotgun, oh, in this room here there's also more health and ammo, and some uh, EMP grenades. Those EMP grenades are also really, really good. And I'll demonstrate them here in a minute uh, on some guys that uh, actually require them. That'll be a little bit later, actually, but uh, yeah, took an unnecessary amount of damage there. But yeah, the EMP shotgun against these brutes, it is just so good. You hit them twice at close enough range in their backpack, and that's enough to kill them. Just two shots. Just like that's just enough to kill like a soldier or a scout at medium range can kill a brute at close range. It's just ridiculously good. You just got to make sure your your shot is lined up because you again you only have small windows of opportunity where their little backpack the backpack is exposed. See, just two shots like that. That was enough to take them down. Of course, I think I missed once. Because like I said, if you, there's a lot of times you might miss, cause, and that's going to kind of screw you up a little bit, because you have to reload. Anyway, th then this door over here is going to open. There's going to be two brutes in there. There's going to be one with a turret and another one with a shield and hammer, the more typical variety of brutes. So we're going to toss an EMP grenade in there and hope that this guy does not come out of this door, but he did anyway. So we're kind of over here trying to fight him all by ourselves, and he luckily went to go pick on Bumblebee instead of me, so... I was able to hit him in the back, and he died pretty quickly, too. Now, this other brood here I won't be so lucky with, with the shotgun, so I'm like, you know what, I'm not really going to be able to kill him with the shotgun, I'm going to pick up the pistol. Little did I realize, though, that coming around this corner, he was actually really close to me, he was, like, right there, outside the door, so I could have actually probably killed him with the shotgun right there had I kept it. But, uh, oh well. I used the uh, EMP grenade on him and tried to hit him a few times with the pistol here. The uh, machine gun on the car mode, always a good way to go. And luckily he barely even noticed we were there, and then uh, that ended up being the death of him. So uh, that's about it for other guys in this main area. As you can see, the Decepticons are all standing above us, sort of taunting us like we're uh, in some kind of uh, gladiator's arena or whatever. Optimus coming over here to land breaking open the wall with his axe. Now, over there on the other side is a uh, overshield. I'm not quite sure how to get to it. I usually just ignore it. So I don't want to find out what happens to you if you go in there. You probably die. So, you actually, I could probably get it with Sideswipe because I could double jump and then use the dash. So that might have been, that might have been actually a really good idea to go pick that up. But uh, too late now. So there's a cutscene here where we find Air Raid in a rather improvised cell. He's basically just being held there by Energon. And so, uh, just a generic force field. 
as you can see, there's an edit there because I uh, died, and so I don't have the uh, turret anymore. But I wanted to kill those first cloakers there with the with the turret because I had it. And uh, so we're gonna go into these side areas and try to deactivate the force field to let air raid out of his temporary cell. But uh, there's two. There's really two ways you can do this. You can kind of slowly work your way in here and take out the cloakers when you see and the spiders when you see them or you can be like me and just run right up to the button and activate it or I guess this is a button or a floor switch or whatever here there were so many spiders around me I just decided to use the uh, whirlwind ability and kill them all at once and I broke all three of those boxes right there god sides wife is just so cool but yeah then they'll have these cloakers coming out of the wall like this and uh, they're kind of difficult to hit when they're in the wall like this because I really don't even know where they go. It's really quite odd because they just sort of go into the wall and then appear somewhere else as if there's no real... They sort of are deleted and respawn elsewhere because there's just a white blur in there. You really can't see them. You can see their shots coming out of it and you can see that your, your hit detection's going off with the little red uh, sections of your reticle there. Yeah, Cloakers, this is probably the most annoying encounter with Cloakers at any point in the game, I will say. So, uh, I don't blame you if you just want to do it like I did and just zoom right past them and, you know, get the hell out of here. So that's pretty much what I did. I was like, you know what, I don't even care anymore. I'm not going to sit here and shoot these guys with the machine gun on my car mode. And I'm not going to, uh, use the assault rifle later. There's another edit here where I die because I had this crazy idea for this part that I would just go zoom right past every single one of them and just go for the switch with one bar of health, mind you, and quickly transform as soon as I get to the health, pick it up, and then boost over to the uh, the button. Now, I managed to do it right here, actually very successfully, because I remember I still had those EMP grenades. And those EMP grenades are extremely useful against cloakers, because not only does it dis disable them and keep them one one spot, but it also uh, exposes them so you can see them. And right here, it disabled all those cloakers and all those spiders. It was fantastic. It was such a good idea. <laughs> I really don't recommend bursting in there like that, like that because uh, the error of my ways is that all the cloakers are still alive, unfortunately. So when we come over, back over here and air raid has freed himself, uh, he's going to guide us to a uh, elevator and we're going to get out of here. But your other allies are still going to be fighting the cloakers out here, so they're not going to be able to help you out. But that definitely saved me a lot of time here, but it cost me some time later, and I'll I'll show you what I mean here in a minute, but and again I had to use the EMP grenade because these guys were just getting so annoying. It seems like invisible enemies in games just kind of make you throw a fit because you can't see them and you just start having a little mini panic attack over it. Cause just because you can't see where they are and it's just it's frustrating after a while but it's not too bad in this game I, I when I was uh, playing as most of the other missions they were not that difficult but uh, and it'll, it'll be easier as we start to play as uh, Optimus and have and all the other leader class characters and have the rockets and everything like that and as, as you can see since those cloakers are still down there they are the other allies are not up here to help us with these guys and this is a hallway full of soldiers and this is actually this was actually a really tricky encounter for me I took my time here and just like gradually peek my head around this corner with the pistol and try to get you know two headshots on these guys is enough to kill them with the pistol on hard at least and uh... which is what we're playing on just as a reminder and i just like the fact that we're playing it on hard even if i feel the need to remind you I feel like i'm gloating this is not a hard game anyway uh... the uh... I only have the other problem is I only have one bar of health, so apparently they are not uh, gonna help me out when I need it the most. So we're gonna have to fight all these guys with photon burst rifles by ourselves with just a pistol and one EMP grenade. Of course, I do have the assault rifle, but the pistol is a little bit better. I can kill them with just two shots if I'm patient enough. So while not killing all those cloakers saved me a lot of time back then, it's costing me a lot of time right now because now I have to spend all this time very conservatively fighting these guys with only one bar of health and no EMP grenades left either and these soldiers can be really tricky if you're uh, in a situation like this 
Because again, those, pro those Photon Burst Rifles are really good, even against you. They're, sometimes when you play Escalation, you'll get uh, Scouts that have Photon Burst Rifles, and they just don't seem to be as powerful. Maybe it's just because the uh, Escalation is a fixed difficulty level when this the campaign is a uh, selective difficulty level, so where I'm manually choosing it to be hard, because Escalation is probably medium difficulty when you think about it. But uh, now we have a Brute to fight, and... Miraculously, uh, the other three guys show up to fight the Brute, which is the guy we need the least amount of help with. Well, I think then again, we, we probably do need some help with the Brute, because we, we need him to be distracted. Which, uh, he was quite easily here, and we took him out just fine. I mean, having uh, four characters fighting him at once really makes it a lot easier. So, Air Raid's extra firepower really to help out there. So apparently they have Zeta Prime locked up tight down below where he's going to be particularly difficult to get to. Well, I mean, that would make sense considering that he's currently the leader of the Autobots. I picked up a, a Null Ray sniper rifle there because why not? I, I love it, as I typically do with sniper rifles in games. Um, so I dropped the Pistol Fort, which is my other precision weapon, so I still got the Assault Rifle. But now I'm going to use this. So this next part here is basically just going to be one big fight. Uh, there's a cutscene right here that's really cool. I can't, I can't believe I skipped it. I didn't, I didn't realize what cutscene it was. But that, that Autobot brute comes out of his cell there and just beats the crap out of that Decepticon brute and takes his hammer and shield and they start glowing red. And he says, he says something uh, after that. He's like either for Zeta Prime or for Icon or something like that. I'm not sure. But. Uh, it was, it was pretty cool, but anyway, there's a big fight going to break out here. we got Autobot drones running around all over the place, and they're going to help us out here. There's going to be just a massive uh, prison break going on here. So uh, this, this brew is really getting in my way here. I'm trying to let I'm trying to not shoot him. I'm trying to let him do his thing here and kill these guys, but he's not doing a very good job, but I'm trying to... Whenever I was trying to snipe him with the null right here, they, he just keeps getting in the way. But, uh, yeah, there's, there's going to be a lot of scouts. They're going to have a variety of different weapons. Oh, and then he just goes and dies. Look at that. But, yeah, they're all going to be scouts, but they're going to have... This guy right over here has a pistol, and some of them have a neutron assault rifle. Some of them have... Uh, even some of them have EMP shotguns. But, uh, but we're basically just going to sit back here and let them all flood in. Because they're basically just going to be spawning in certain areas and just kind of flooding out of those areas at, and coming at us. But I'm basically just going to snipe them with the Null Ray. We're going to run out of ammo from the Null Ray pretty quickly though, unfortunately, so I'm going to try to uh, kill all these guys with whatever weapons we have right now so we can get to the next area where we can get more ammo. Boom, look at that headshot. So satisfying. But there's a couple of, as we get into this hall, there's going to be two rooms over on the other side there, and that's where they're going to be spawning from, and just coming out of that room. Like, the door on in that room is actually closed, but they're going to be uh, spawning in it anyway, so... Yeah, figure that out. That's video game logic there for you at its best. Enemies just appearing out of closed door, like an air raid. <laughs> just floating there in the air as a jet. But over here is two, actually two boxes of health. Okay, sorry about that rather jarring edit there. I had to edit out my brother violently knocking on my door. Anyway, there's two boxes of health and a uh, crate of ammo in there. So now we have full ammo again for the null ring. We can begin sniping again. Or resume sniping, however you prefer to word it. But uh, eventually I want to get over to that door where they're spawning in. Because there's something in there that I want. And it will, obviously, if I can get over there, that means they've stopped spawning. So, because they won't come forever, obviously. I don't know why I decided to use the whirlwind on him. There probably would have been a better scenario for me to use it. But there's just Energon all over the floor over there. Nice, juicy Energon. And we're going to go pick up all of it after uh, I get an opportunity here. Here we go. I might try it here. And so we can refill it for the whirlwind. That's, I think that's why I tried it. But uh, yeah, these guys are kind of sitting ducks over here. They don't really have any adequate cover, so we can just kind of snipe them. Although there is just an. This one thing that this game has going for it is just... There we go. More Energon. Yum. Okay, so there's an overshield back here. That's what I wanted. But, uh... 
it can be a little overwhelming at times, just the sheer amount of enemies that are in, in single encounters in this game. That's one of the game's strong points, and it's also one of the things that makes it kind of frustrating a little bit to a certain extent, although I, I can I say it's a good thing just because the game can handle as many entities as it puts on screen at once. It's pretty ridiculous. But yeah, we're pretty much done with this part right here. We just got a few more guys to thin out. Your other allies are not going to be uh, that useful, but they will be effective distractions, I guess, as usual. We got some more guys coming out over here. Eventually we'll be done with this. 